Hello, I'm Uma and welcome on The Uma Show. Today I'm going to talk about something that is extremely close to my heart and I would love to create more awareness about it and that is about toxins that we use on a daily basis in our homes. As we all know, chemicals have totally overtaken our lives. They are all around us because of which we tend to fall sick pretty often. But whenever we face issues with our health, we directly visit the doctor's clinic without realizing the fact that whatever we're using inside our homes is filled with chemicals. And that is what is exactly causing the damage. Barely do we realize that the things we are using to improve our health and well-being are most often the things that contain these toxins which prove hazardous eventually. A lot of chemicals get penetrated by our skin, but it can also enter through non-dermal pathways as well. Some harmful chemicals can end up airborne, entering into our system through inhalation, depositing in airways and being absorbed into the bloodstream through the lungs. So today, I'm going to tell you about a few common household and beauty products that we use on a daily basis that contain chemicals and are causing a threat to our health. Common hygiene and beauty products with harmful chemicals. While maintaining hygiene and looking great should be a priority, you should be aware that many products that you use to smell good or enhance your beauty contain harmful chemicals. These include deodorants, perfumes and cologne, soap, including antibacterial soaps and detergents, makeup products and cosmetics, mouthwash and toothpaste, moisturizer and sunscreens shampoos and other hair care products, even nail polish and nail polish removers. Now let us see in which areas of our homes do these chemical toxins hide. Toxins in the bedroom. Having a good night's sleep is the key for maintaining good health. It plays a crucial role in supporting memory, immune function, metabolism, learning and other critical functions. But the presence of toxins in your bedroom can unfortunately mess with the quality of your sleep. Mattresses. Foam mattresses as well as babies and children's mattresses which have gained a lot of popularity in the past few years might contain toxic flame retardants. These chemicals, if inhaled, can negatively impact your body's ability to heal and detoxify. So try a non-toxic mattress made with organic stuffing and without flame retardants. Additionally, do not place mattresses on a pressed wood or plywood bed frame. These two types of wood release formaldehyde and other harmful chemicals. Mattresses also contain microscopic creatures which are potent allergens. Mites may leave their excrement in your mattresses, pillows, sheets, furniture and drapes. So wash your sheets every three days or at least every week with fragrance and chemical free laundry detergent. Electronic devices with a screen that emit blue light slow down the production of melatonin, the hormone that is necessary for healthy sleep cycles. This is why using your cell phone before bed affects sleep quality. Electronic devices also emit a small amount of electromagnetic radiation. If they break or their insides are exposed, metals such as mercury, lead, barium and arsenic can leak. So the best way to have a toxic free sleep is to keep them off the bedroom altogether. Carpeting perfluorinated compounds are a group of extremely toxic materials that don't break down in the environment. The most toxic of these is a chemical called PFOA, which is extremely toxic in nature, is used to produce carpeting and upholstery. This means that if you have a carpet at your home, you are inhaling it 
every single day. Natural hardwood or stone flooring can be a better substitute for a carpet which doesn't contain any harsh chemicals and is comparatively easier to clean. Toxins in the bathroom. You won't believe the number of toxins creeping inside your bathroom. The area under the sink, cosmetics, the toilet, toothbrushes and the floor can all be a storehouse to harmful biological pollutants. Biological pollutants are these living organisms or the byproducts of living organisms which are small, travel through the air and can be easily inhaled. Toothbrushes. Every time you flush keeping the toilet lid open, fecal matter spreads in the atmosphere and lands over everything in your bathroom, including your toothbrush. Toothbrush cups may be the biggest station of germs in your home space. So make sure you disinfect them often or replace them with an air holder. Also thoroughly wash your toothbrush after use and leave it dry and please don't use a toothbrush for more than two to three months. Sinks. Bathroom sinks facilitate the growth of a fungus called Fusarium which is a common source of infections in humans. In addition to fungus, sinks can have bacterial growth and chemical toxins from home cleaners. It's better to use organic cleaning products to keep this area of your bathroom clean to maintain a healthy environment at home. Shower. We never consider to use a filter for a bath or shower. Shower curtains, floors and walls contain biological pollutants like fungus, mold, mildew and other types of unhealthy organisms. No matter how much soap, water and shampoo you use to keep them clean. In fact, the shower is one of the most germ friendly places in your house and should be cleaned every single day. Taps. Tap water is generally treated with chlorine to eliminate pathogens and harmful chemicals from it. But these chemicals actually make the water toxic. When chlorine mixes with tap water, it releases a byproduct called THM, which produces free radicals in the body causing cell damage. Floors. The floor of your bathroom is a haven for germs, dirt and harmful toxins of all types. Cleaning the bathroom floor one to two times a week with organic cleaning products is essential. Rugs in the bathroom are also a significant repository for toxins and are difficult to clean. Remember that sometimes the flooring itself can contain surface contaminants like in the case of vinyl flooring. These contain huge amounts of chemicals which are extremely toxic in nature. Toxins in the kitchen, grocery bags, keys, purses and various household and food products that move around your kitchen can become vehicles to carry and deposit bacteria to other places in your home. Food related bacteria can also be found in many utensils and gadgets like cutting boards which are specially prone to bacteria due to the cuts made in the wood or plastic. Instead, you can choose a natural cutting board made of bamboo which is resistant to these cuts. Having separate boards for meat, fruits and vegetables is another way to avoid cross-contamination which is the main cause of foodborne diseases. Also your microwave can be another source of toxicity in your kitchen. Radiation emitted from ovens and microwaves can be harmful if leaked. Outdoor toxins. Paint cans, paint thinners and fuel containers can be toxic and harmful if inhaled or not properly ventilated and stored. You can replace chemical based bug repellents and pest control products with organic plant based substitutes like basil, lemon balm, lavender, catnip, peppermint and marigold. These can be applied to certain areas of the yard or crushed and rubbed on the skin to ward off the insects. So these are the things that are lying in our house 
and are hampering our health by the day. It's time we become more conscious and aware about what we are using, how we are using it and where is it coming from. We need to make better choices when buying and choosing health and wellness in all our actions. So I hope all of you will become more conscious about your choices. I created this video to create awareness amongst all of you about all the things that we use on a daily basis and how many toxins and chemicals all these things have. So a lot of research has gone into in this video, but I really would also like you to research more your own research, Google and find out about each and every product that you're using at home right now and how much toxins all of this have. If somebody is falling sick in your family again and again, it could be one of these chemicals or toxins that you have around them, so it's worth looking at. I hope you found this video very helpful and very informative. If you have, then please share it with your friends and family. Like this video, comment on this video, I'm waiting for you, all your comments all the time. And please subscribe to my channel, I'll be back with more such videos very soon. So till then, sending you love and health.